Hi Stampers! Today we're going to be making this beautiful flower embellishment and it's it's pretty big. It actually measures um, about four and a quarter inches across at its widest and this is about one and a half inch at the smallest. And basically it's just three scallop circles put together so I'm just going to do a quick little video to show you how to do that because um, it can really add a lot to a card or a scrapbook page. So we'll get started. So first thing that you're going to do um, is I actually use the Big Shot and the Scallop Circle um, dies, but you don't have to use those. You can actually use punches, but most of the punches are pretty small. So I've actually used the, um, the Large Scallop Circle die from Stampin' Up, and also it's called um, the Scallop Circles Number 2 die. It, is, it has a small one and a medium-sized one on there. It's a little hard to tell on the video probably. So first thing that you're really going to do is um, take your Big Shot, and you're going to sandwich your die in there and we'll go ahead and cut a big one out so you can kind of see and I'm using Pacific Point paper and we're going to go ahead and put another acrylic plate down so we're going to sandwich that right on top and just run it through the Big Shot alrighty and that gives you your scallop circle Okay, and we're going to do that with the other two as well, um, but just to kind of get the video going, I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. Um, then after you're done cutting whatever shapes you want, um, you're going to go ahead and run them through um, and punch out or punch out um, some more of the scallop circles, but just using some plain um, copy paper. You don't want to use your nice uh, uh, cardstock. So I went ahead and already did that, and I've got my three little circles cut out of copy paper. Then what you're going to do is find the center. The way you find the center is basically just fold your image in half, and you can do this with a circle or a scallop or pretty much whatever you have, but just you want to find the center. Um, you're going to go ahead and take your mat pack and your piercing tool and just go ahead and punch a, a hole right in the center, and you'll see where the center is where those four lines meet. Just go ahead and punch a nice big hole there. This is going to give you the center of where your cardstock is. So now you're going to take your cardstock that you have and you're going to go ahead and place it down and line it up on your cardstock so it's nice and even. Go ahead and use your paper piercer again and make a hole in the center. And that will give you the center of whatever you're using so that we don't have to do measuring and all that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and make a fairly large hole in here. You can actually probably even use um, a punch, although on some of the bigger circles you can't quite get your punch in the center. So that's all that these are really used for. Um, then you, if you have a score pail, I think it works the best, but if you don't, you don't have to have a score pail. And I'll show you the both methods. Basically you can just take um, a, a ruler, go through the center line, and line up the edges of the two um, scallops that are adjacent to each other, or excuse me, across from each other. And you're going to go ahead and just make a, a line right through those scallops. And I don't know how well you can see this on the video. I'm going to bend it a little so you can tell. But I just went ahead and made a line right through the circle and right through the scallop. You're going to do that all the way around. This does take a little bit of time, so I'm just letting you know. We're going to go ahead and find the center again line it up with the two scallops on the outer edge and just keep doing that until you go all the way around. Once you're done doing that, I'll show you on this one, I've already pre-scored this. All you really do is you fold one in, one line in, one score line in, one score line out. One score line in, one score line out. This does take a little bit of time. This is great while you're watching TV or doing something that you've got a little time to do it. If you make a bunch of these at once, it really goes pretty quickly. And just keep doing that. And you don't want to fold in the center yet because um, we're going to do that last. So you just go all the way around until you've actually formed all of these little, like, these little scallops that stick up. Now I'll show you how you can do it on the score pal. Um, it also works on that, like I said. If you go ahead and take your cardstock, and I'll go ahead and use the large circle again so you can see. Um, you want to take your paper piercer, line up your hole in one of the grooves of the score lines. And you just go ahead and line that up. And then you can actually use your score pal, take the, 
the boning too that comes with it. And just go ahead and you make your lines across that way. As you're doing the next line, put your uh, little boning tool right in the center and just pivot it a little bit. And that will get you to the next scallop and you can go ahead and just do that one. So it goes pretty quickly actually if you do it with a score pal. But like I said, if you don't have one, you can do it with a ruler. And then all I've done on this is I've just added um, a flower brad in the center, which will just adds so much to this whole thing. And then I'll show you how I use it on a scrapbook page. This is my great nephew, Ben. And all the colors just happen to fall together with this, so I wanted to show you this real quick. But look at how beautiful that, that changes that scrapbook page. So I just want to let you know that there's lots of things you can do that you don't have to buy a lot of embellishments for. You can actually make with probably the tools you already have at home. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.